is our second year. Our daughter went last year for a week and she came home uh, after the camp was over for the week and was so excited and she couldn't wait to come back for this year. So when we came back this year, my son also wanted to go and, and he's nine and he came for the first time this year and he came home on Friday and he was so excited that he asked to go another week this week and um, he's just, both of my kids think that this is the best place in the world to spend a summer. Yeah. Uh, we were nervous, we were very concerned, yeah. we were worried this was our first experience uh, with the kids going to overnight camp and I didn't know, you know, how the counselors were going to be, how the cabins were going to be, although we had an opportunity to visit during one of the open houses, there, you didn't get the same kind of feel, but we felt that when we came up here that the camp was very clean. The camp, the, organ, the, the place was very, very well run, very organized. We were given a guide and they took us around the whole camp. So we were okay, but dropping off your children for the first time is, can be very difficult. You know, we were members of the YMCA, so we really uh, had an introduction to you know, what it's like at the Y in our local YMCA and, and the, the, the counselors there uh, and how trusting they, we are of, you know, turning our kids over to them. So we were, you know, we were real comfortable with it, just leaving them here. And then for Michael this year, he didn't know anybody coming up and he still was excited about it. In fact, coming up this year, uh, because she had been here before and he had, uh, had been here when we dropped her off, they just, well, when are we going to be there? When are we going to be there? They couldn't wait. They were ready to go. Uh, probably an hour before we even needed to leave the house to get up here and uh, and just couldn't wait, you know, they wanted to be one of the first ones up here so they can get themselves checked in the cabin, pick out uh, the bunk that they wanted uh, and then quickly was like, goodbye, see ya, and trying to get us to go because they just, you know, they, they, they just feel really comfortable and, um, um, and, and, and as are we and that's really important I think for the parents to be able to to, uh, to, to feel comfortable with it and, and for us getting out of this it, our kids just are uh, I just see Michael he just sees you know he's more confident in himself he, he, you know he's learning to be a little independent obviously he's only nine and we're not sending him out on his own <laughs> anytime soon <laughs> but I think it's important that they learn a little bit of independence uh, and, and be able to do some things for themselves uh, and make friends and that's an important thing is just the friends they make up here uh, is uh, you know they Right, it's, and it's our, really our son, good. Michael, he did not know anybody his first week, and he had no problem getting to know the other campers. He liked the counselors very much. One of the things that my daughter commented on, I asked her what was the difference between this camp and other camps that she had been to, and she's been to a lot of day camps. She said that the, in this camp, the counselors, they're very well trained, and they, they care. She felt comfortable going up to Buck Mountain, and also very comfortable sailing. Said there were so many lifeguards in the water that she was not concerned at all. So it's just been a very, a very good experience for the kids. Uh, and it, for us. And for us, <laughs> it's put our minds at ease. Yeah. And I also like the number of counselors that you have up here. I mean, in my daughter's cabin, I think she had maybe about 10 or 11 girls. Yeah. There was two counselors in the CIT, which I think is a very good ratio yeah. for these kids. So they get to do everything. They get to summit a mountain, they get to swim, sail. You know, and we got a few days at home without the kids. And we did. Where we can you and know, we en felt enjoy. Fun. Yeah, you obviously miss fun. them, but you feel that they're in a safe, comfortable place where they're having fun. Uh, and you know, we can send them an email each night. We, I don't have, we send them an email, they would print it out and give it to them the next day. Uh, and, you know, it, it they just, very much like the emails yeah. every day. That was that was something that they really looked forward to and I was glad that the camp was able to allow us to do that because it provides some kind of communication for the kids. Although they can't email back, they did send, my, our daughter sent a letter to us and said that she was just having the best time of her life. If I let them, they would probably spend the whole summer here. <laughs>